Ever since Hatchet 2 ended, the first time I saw it, I've been waiting for this. Let's talk about it. If we don't leave right this second, nobody's gonna be alive tomorrow. Eat this one! Hatchet 3 picks up right where Hatchet 2 left off, and it's really cool because these three movies as a trilogy play out like one long movie if you splice them together. So Mary Beth has taken down Victor Crowley, she shows up at the police station, and she pleads her story about what had happened, and they put her in custody because they don't know whether or not she had killed everybody that was out there since she is the sole survivor. So they decide to send a team out into the swamp to investigate what's going on and recover the bodies, and now we have our movie. So Daniel Harris reprises her role as Mary Beth, Kane Hodder comes back as Victor Crawley, Perry Shen comes back for a third time around, playing a complete different role this time, obviously. And then we get a bunch of new faces, and amongst those are Zach Galligan, Derek Mears, and Caroline Williams. So I had high hopes for this movie. My expectations were through the roof. And did I like the movie? Yeah, I thought it was a good movie, but it didn't really give me everything I wanted. Now, there were some things I liked about it a lot, but there were also some things that really disappointed me. Now, I really liked the beginning of the movie. The intro sequence was fantastic, and I really enjoyed the ending of the movie as well. But everything in the middle that connected all that together, I didn't really care for that much. There's really no memorable characters in this movie at all. Everybody's really expendable. And I touched base on that for my reviews of Hatchet 1 and 2, because in Hatchet 1... The characters are very memorable. You don't really care when they die, but when they do die, you know who the character was. Hatchet 2, the same thing, maybe a little less memorable. But this time around, it really fell into the cliche of here's a group of people, they're there to be killed, and they're gone. And there were some people that got killed in this movie. I don't even remember seeing them. Now, what hurt the movie even more was the absence of Mary Beth. She's in the movie, but she's really taken out of the mix because for most of the time, she's either sitting in jail or she's sitting in a car. I really would have wanted her to be more in the mix with everything because she's the one character you've been able to connect with throughout these movies. Some characters also make some really cliche, stupid decisions, and I know that that's to be expected because it is a slasher film. I just think that Hatchet 1 and 2 handled it better in a much smarter manner. And again, the kills were good and the effects were good. They used practical effects once again. I just feel that they were a little inferior to the first two hatchets. One thing that was really cool, though, that we didn't get to see in the first two hatchets was Victor Crawley amongst a group of people. In the first two hatchets, it was usually him catching somebody on their own or two people on their own. But this time around, he's right there in the crowd with everybody, so it was really cool to see that. Something else that was really cool, too, is there's tons of little references throughout the movie that pay a lot of respects to the first two hatchets. So that was fun to pay attention to, and a lot of diehard fans will appreciate that. I still really enjoyed Hatchet 3, and I'll definitely be picking it up when it comes out on Blu-ray. It just wasn't the exact conclusion that I thought it was going to be, and it lost some of what made the first two Hatchets really enjoyable, and that was that they were fun, over-the-top slasher flicks that didn't take themselves too seriously. I hope that a second or a third viewing will help me look past some of the issues I had with it, but in the end, these three movies together as a trilogy were fantastic and some of the best slasher flicks that we've had in a very long time. If you've seen Hatchet 3, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you thought about it, and let me know how you feel about the Hatchet trilogy in general. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow everything else that I do. Until next time, keep it groovy. I killed him. I killed him.